The accident happened around noontime. Norfolk and Western investigators are still on the scene now, trying to tell why. Why 19 coal hoppers fell off the tracks. They were part of a string of 225 en route to Lambert's Point from Bluefield, West Virginia. The train cars left the tracks right near the Gold Kiss peanut plant. Crossings at South Main, Commerce, East Washington, and Liberty Streets were all blocked, closed. Traffic had to look elsewhere to get across NNW's two main lines into Tidewater. Hundreds of tons of coal spilled onto the right of way. One crane was already on the site, carefully lifting cars away or back into place this afternoon. Another crane was due in later in the evening. After the wreck, about half the train proceeded to its destination in Norfolk, but the other half had nowhere to go. There were no injuries, just a lot of questions as to why the cars jumped the tracks in the first place. In Suffolk, Howard Jaffe, The Daily News.